Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to the channel. It's Cynic Alex. And by now you've probably noticed that Namor isn't really in the discussions for good characters to use against Null. And that's kind of weird, because if you look at all of the other content that he's good for, he's good for ABX, he's good for Galactus, he's good for World Boss up to stage 99. You're scratching your head and you're wondering, well, doesn't that translate over into, into Null? Like, why would he be good for all of that other content, but not Null? And maybe some of you guys have already seen the videos that other content creators have put out. We got stunned twice there. Uh, content creators like uh, Free to Play Adventures, Koshal, uh, talking about Namor being better without his uniform. And this is a very strange discovery by the community, but a very interesting one. We're not doing. We're not having the best run here, but let's try to um, finish it off here. So I want to talk about that. Is Namor better without his uniform against Null? versus with his uniform against Null. So we're gonna take a look at his, well, you're seeing right now, that took about a minute and two seconds for him to beat Null stage two, well, beat the first part of Null stage two with his uniform. This is the barometer we're gonna be measuring against, and we're gonna be recreating the tests that other content creators have done to reach the conclusion that yes, in fact, if you wanna know the answer right away, yes, Namor without his uniform, performs better against Null, or he'll perform the same as he does with his uniform. So for those of you that haven't bought Namor's uniform, and if you're going to use him against Null, you don't have to buy the uniform. <laughs> Obviously, if you're going to use Namor for any other content, World Boss, Galactus, anything else, then yes, the uniform makes him a lot better. And just basically looking at his stats, 47,600 physical attack, no uniform, 39,000. So he loses... 7,000, he loses, you know, 7,000 uh, physical attack. That's a lot of physical, it's a lot, a lot, a lot of physical attack. Now, because of my build, he doesn't actually lose a lot else. He still has 71% dodge and he still has capped crit rate and he still has almost capped crit damage. I worked very hard on my Namor and I poured a lot of resources into him to making him almost the same in terms of those stats uniform versus no uniform but i can't make up for that physical attack he's 7,000 physical attack lower i just cannot make up for that so if the damage was exactly the same then he should perform worse like it should be slower right it took about a minute and five seconds with the uniform this should be way slower now we're going to use the exact same team up we're using cyclops for just a flat 35 percent attack lead the passive doesn't apply because he doesn't deal energy damage Valkyrie's there for the support and the 30% ignore dodge. And then the strikers here are maximized to give me 110% ignore dodge. The reason why I'm going with ignore dodge strikers is because I don't want any variance, right? If I only use 40 or 60% ignore dodge, then maybe on one of the runs, Namor hits. He, he just happens to hit a lot more often. And on another run, uh, Null decides to just dodge more, right? That could definitely happen. So we're going to test him now here with uh, out his uniform, which is... To be honest with you, a very strange sight for me to see. I'm definitely not used to this. You're going to see the damage is awesome. So it's really great for those of you that have Namor um, and were struggling to use him against Null because this could definitely be the key for you to actually getting an extra clear out of uh, one of your characters that you thought basically wasn't good for the content. So as you can see right now, we're flying through. This is actually my best run ever. We're flying through. I got a little bit lucky. I think I dodged one of the cages. But as you can see, his damage is outstanding. His damage is outstanding with 7,000 less physical attack. We just did that 15 seconds faster. I'm going to take away 7,000 physical attack or energy attack, and you're going to beat the stage 15 seconds faster. That makes absolutely no sense. So now you got to figure out why. Why is Namor doing so much more damage? Or actually, a better way to say it would be, why is Namor doing so much less damage with his uniform? Because that's what's going on. It's not that he's doing more damage without his uniform. It's that he's doing less damage with it. And so that leads you to believe that it's elemental damage at play. But I didn't know that right away. A lot of people immediately jump to that conclusion. And that's a good, it's a good conclusion to jump to. It's not a bad conclusion to jump to. And in this case, it's correct. But there could have been one other answer. So I went ahead, I spent about an hour and a half on my couch, just playing with different teams, testing what the other idea or the other option could have been. 
because if it wasn't the elemental damage as you can see here with all of his attacks being with all of his attacks being physical that matters tremendously when you then convert those physicals into elemental now it's still physical but it's physical elemental so because it's physical elemental it doesn't just look at the physical defense of the enemy it also looks at their fire resistance and what i'm guessing is you can see my namor has six a whopping six percent fire resistance i'm guessing null has really 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 high fire resistance that's what i'm guessing so when you take away the fire damage the fire the, the fire you know the physical fire then his damage just goes straight physical and then a larger portion of that damage gets through because of ignore defense maybe ignore defense doesn't ignore resistances we don't know exactly how all this stuff works to be honest so that is most likely what's happening the elemental but what could have been happening is that his damage could have been reduced because he's a villain that was the other option and i didn't want to make a video just straight up saying hey guys you know what it's definitely the fire damage without first properly testing it to see if it was indeed the elemental damage and not the hero versus villain attribute because with this uniform he does become a villain as you can see there on his side and then on top of that you have heroes that do elemental damage and they do a lot of damage to null so it is pretty confusing when you say that because you look at somebody like this who's amazing for null four is also really really good for null but then if you look at the villain side you're like hang on alex um carnage is really good for null too and so is moonstone this is really weird how you know how can this be right so let's find out so this is the test these are the tests that i ran i ran two separate tests with the exact same leadership and support valkyrie and cyclops just to keep things super simple the first test that i ran was with captain america now, I'm surprised, I'll be surprised to tell you that Captain America can actually beat Null Stage 2, at least my Captain America, with a Rage. So, for you Captain America fans out there, he's not completely useless for the new Endgame content. However, I wanted to test whether or not he would be able to clear faster, given that he wasn't going to be changing his damage. So, whether or not Captain America is a hero with his Endgame uniform, or whether he's a villain with his Hydra uniform, he's a villain there his damage is still physical so this would be a way for me to isolate the villain versus hero mechanic there are a couple of other characters that you can do this for like dr octopus but captain america is the one that is the most similar between uniforms dr octopus changes a lot between uniforms so it would come down to a test of like just his fifth his sixth skill right it would just be kind of awkward so anyways we're going to go ahead and test this. Sorry, Mateo, I can't play right now. We're going to go ahead and test this and see how well he does here uh, with his villain uniform. And we're going to use the exact same strikers again because Captain America doesn't have any ignore um, dodge. We're going to test this. And then we're going to see how he does with his um, endgame uniform. Just so I can show you guys the testing. I don't want to just tell you guys. I, I could just tell you guys what happened in the testing, but this way... You guys not only get a little featurette of Captain America and, you know, when was the last time you saw Captain America gameplay, right? Not only do you get to see that. Oh, we got some nice accumulation there. Never mind. I thought we did, but we didn't. Not only do you get to see a little featurette of Captain America, but I can actually show you the content versus just telling you what happened. So, yeah, Cap is is not very good. He can, he can do this, but he's not very good for it. I also find that Captain America's fifth skill doesn't target properly for Null, which is kind of weird. His fourth skill does really good damage, and basically what you're hoping for... See, we just got a burst of damage. You're hoping for the um, accumulation. The accumulation on his tier three is really where all the damage is going to come from. Even if you get interrupted, it doesn't really matter because you just want to get accumulation because then for your next whatever 10 seconds you'll have a, a you know a big burst of damage so i'm just going to try to get hit here oh there we go we got hit so this is going to get yeah huge burst of damage here we got stunned it's a bummer his fifth skill seems to only do damage when he lands okay nice all right Try to get hit so this will be good even so it doesn't matter that i got hit it just matters that i got accumulation there we go look at that damage pop off pop off yeah captain of the avengers pop off so this is pretty similar to my testing it took, takes about a minute and 45 seconds so if it is a villain issue if it is if it is damage reduction based on villain versus hero 
then we should see a bump now in his damage because the build is basically identical the only real difference between his um uniforms besides the villain tag is the fact that he's combat versus blast which shouldn't make much of a difference and then the only other difference is that he didn't proc his rage that's really cool the only other difference is that he um wow okay you know what we're just gonna restart because 10 seconds without a rage proc is absurd yeah there's some there's some weird stuff that happens but the only other difference is that his this uniform doesn't have a heal. That was the big changeup besides turning him into a blast villain. The other big changeup was uh, giving him a heal on five. So we're going to try this again. Let's Hopefully we can crit right at the beginning. Okay, there we go. We crit in the first eight seconds, which is better than nothing. Going to try to build up some hits here. Yep, hit me. Nice, really nice. So we might actually be a little bit faster here because of that. Because of that luck we just had there with really, really great timing on that spike attack. That spike attack deals a lot more damage than the regular tentacles that come out later on. And that allowed us to do a ton of bars worth of damage, but we'll see what happens. A minute and 45 is what we're aiming for. We're going to get hit here. That's okay. Because as you can see, the accumulation is super nice. And we get a ton of damage, squeak a ton of damage in here. If anything, you would think that Null would have would take less damage from heroes because he's such a dastardly villain, sort of like Thanos, where he, you know, rejects the heroes. See, we just wanted to get the accumulation. I, actually, you know what? I don't think we got the accumulation. Yeah, he actually interrupted our tier three before we got the accumulation. So this sort of averages out the run a little bit more to being a bit more average because in that last run, we didn't get that that crazy amount of accumulation. So let's see what we get here. We just get the tentacle. The tentacle's pretty good. So there you go. We were, we were actually 15 seconds faster, but we got really lucky with the accumulation. But it's really not a big it's really not a big gap, right? And in my testing, to be honest, some runs, there's a lot of variance with Captain America, but basically the runs ended up being, you know, within 10 seconds, within 10, 15 seconds of each other. Sometimes I was way slower with this uniform. Sometimes I was way faster with the Hydra Cap uniform. So it really doesn't seem to me like it is the hero versus villain tag. It seems to me that it is the elemental damage tag. But I wanted to do one more test to make sure that I wasn't going crazy. I Like I needed another character and another way of testing it. So I thought of the character that I love the most, Jean Grey. And I thought, you know what? There's a really good way of testing her again, a character you rarely, if ever, see talked about for uh, Null World Boss. But she has not a ton of change up. But as you can see here with this new uniform, she only has one energy attack skill. Everything else is elemental damage. That's a pretty big deal because if he is rejecting elemental damage, then you are going to see a pretty big dip because when you look at this uniform, and that's why this uniform is preferred for PvP, you've got majority of her skills being energy. Only two of her five skills deal elemental damage. And actually, the end of her fifth skill is all is all energy as well. It's not elemental. So you can also test this in the story mode where you have the, you know, the elemental, the, the non-elemental damage resistance. This uniform is much, much worse because it's mostly energy damage, whereas this uniform is much, much better because it's mostly um, elemental damage. So we're gonna go ahead and test this one out. So this uniform, we're gonna see, it's pretty slow. I actually think we don't need full ignore dodge strikers. We can bring in these two because she has a CTP of greed. Now keep in mind, Genie uh, struggles. She honestly can't do this fight at all, which is kind of sad, but it's at least faster with this with this uniform so again for those of you that don't have any other options or for whatever reason you just want to play with Jean Grey in um in Null World Boss Legend you will have a better time using this uniform versus uh, another uniform I'm not going to stick to a particular rotation because like I said she's got a CTP of greed I'm just going to make sure that I spam her skills make sure I don't cancel any of her skills uh, and make sure that I use her tier 3 when it's available because that is going to be her her biggest highest damage skill we're not gonna try to dodge the, the cages or anything here uh, she's she's doing okay she's not doing too bad we cancel as soon as she opens her arms and we just want to build up there we go it's it's not bad it's it's really not the worst okay there we go 
And she's super tanky, which is always nice. I'm gonna pop that. There we go. You're gonna get some variance with the clears because of the CTP of greed lining up with one uh, with one of your tier threes or not. But that's just you know that that's a little bit of variance that we can live with. In my testing of Jean Grey, there's a humongous difference between her damage, uh, you know, in terms of speed, and you'll you'll notice you'll notice. So what we'll do is we'll just go to the bottom of 40 bars. We don't want to drag this video on for too much longer. You'll you'll be able to get the point once you see how fast her other uniform is. Uh, you'll see what I'm talking about. So we're gonna, we're gonna squeeze one last tier three in here. This should bring us to 40. There we go. We're gonna get to the bottom of 40 in about three minutes with about 325 left. So it took us about a minute and a half, uh, a minute and a minute and 35 seconds. Okay. I don't want to drag it out too too much. It takes her about two minutes with this uniform. Now let's see how she does when we change most of her damage to be elemental. So now much more of her damage is elemental than before, and we're looking to beat, we're looking to beat or match a minute 35. If she can beat or match a minute 35, plus minus about 10 seconds, then it's not that big of a deal because, you know, that's a normal average uh, amount of variance. But let's go ahead and see what actually ends up happening. The one nice thing about this uniform, we just got stunned, nice. The one good thing about this uniform is that uh, you can move around with the fourth skill. That is kind of nice to reposition due to him not stunning you and stuff like that. Like, this is cool, right? It's, it's, ni it's nice to be able to do that. I say that and then I get stunned anyways. Good job, Alex. But, uh, spot the tier three. All right, Genie. I'm gonna squeeze the three in there just to build up the tier three again. Use the oh, we can't use the co-op. Okay, use the co-op. There we go. Did we get the first cage off? I think maybe we dodged the first cage. Mm, okay, let's pop the tier three. Okay, fourth skill. Okay, we're gonna see. Oh, we got stunned. My bad. There we go. Not gonna use the co-op here because I don't wanna accidentally dodge the cage again. I think we dodged the first cage, which is why we were actually doing so well speed-wise. But uh, we're about to hit the same time. And yeah, it's actually a lot closer than I thought it was gonna be. But yeah, take my word for it. This is what happens when I do these tests. I it was so painfully obvious to me. It basically took her. It took me about two minutes to to beat stage two with her old uniform, and with this uniform, it took me like two and a half minutes. It was like thirty seconds longer, which makes no sense at all. Why should be thirty seconds longer uh, unless there was like extreme variance in those five runs that I did uh, with her CTP of greed? But yeah, essentially. You come to the conclusion that other content creators uh, already came to, which is that it's the elemental damage. Now, it doesn't necessarily mean much for future characters because there may be other things involved in the calculation of the damage, but at least we know that it's not the villains that are being punished because there are some villains that don't do well against Null. Thanos doesn't do well, Apocalypse doesn't do very well. Obviously with Pierce, anyone can do well, but you know, even Magneto doesn't do that well. So. You know, that like, for example, Professor X does better than Magneto and Magneto has uniform. So some people might think, you know what? It is the hero versus, you know, versus villain thing. But it really does seem to be the elemental damage thing. Ghost Rider is obviously that much stronger and I have that much more appreciation for him because he overcomes the elemental penalty, probably because of repentance. But still, he's able to overcome it. Maybe he's probably not applying his uh, fire resistance down, but who knows? Who knows, right? It's very impressive that he's able to do it. But at least I have more confidence now knowing that it's probably most likely the elemental damage that is holding back some characters like Namor with his uniform, most obviously, and not the villain tag versus hero tag. So, yeah, let me know what you guys think of that. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next one. Take care.